Hey friends. Today we will continue with our navigation drawer and fragments video. We will continue this part today. So, without taking time, let's just start coding. Let's move to main activity. We are creating fragment for about item, and, it is present at index number 1. So, our final coding will be inside if else statement, having condition, p3 equals 1. Here, first, create fragment manager object, and initialize it using get fragment manager method. Now, we have the object of our fragment. Now, declare fragment transaction variable, and begin transaction on fragment manager. Use method replace. Before this, go to main XML file. And here, give ID to linear layout. This is the container screen of our app. Now, back to main activity. Here, replace method will take three parameters. 1. ID of the layout that we want to replace with our fragment. This layout may be a linear layout or else. Second is, the object of fragment class. And third one is a string variable. Just leave null here. And last thing to do is, commit, or save the transaction. And here, we are done. Before running, just cut fragment manager and fragment transaction code from here, and paste it above all the if else statements, to use it, to add more fragments later on. A little problem here. Instead of filling up the screen, our fragment is added at right side to the text view. We don't want this. So, let's back to the code and correct it. Here, change this linear layout to frame layout. OK done. Now let's check it again. See, now screen is filled with only fragment. This happens because, frame layout displays one item at a time. So, 
it is showing only fragment here. Ok friends, this is the final output. Here I have created fragments for other items too in the same way. Working of elements of a fragment will be done in its Java class. Thanks for watching friends. If you like my videos please subscribe to my channel.